Welcome back folks to another Let's Play of The Witcher 3. Uh, I'm having a ton of fun with this game. Thanks for coming back and let's get started. So we had just completed a quest here. We also had gained points. So what I want to do is I want to go under character. There you go, points available too. And I want to spend these two points. Let's see. Uh, strength training, strong attack next. Strong attack damage increased by 5%. Adrenaline point gain is 1. I can also put more points here. The next level is fast attack damage increased by 10%. I kind of want to do a balance of it. So one thing that um, always I find interesting is dialogues in this game. And I know the Axie symbol comes in handy. So I want to see if... As I play, like I said, the Axie symbol has been on my mind while playing so I want to kind of go in is it this here Ard Igni well actually Igni is also another one I want to put some points into uh, Axie see charms an opponent's minds temporarily eliminating him from combat uh, let's see what is delusion next level target does not move towards Geralt while he's casting Axie also increases the effectiveness excuse me effectiveness of Axie in dialogue stamina regeneration and combat um, so I want to do that. I want to put in points in here. Are you sure you want to acquire this ability? I'm going to say yes. How many points is that? Does it tell me? Uh, I think it's just one point. What is this? Oh, that's the mutagens. Okay. So I'm going to put... Ah, oh, I lost it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go, man? Where did it go? Right here. Axie. So, yes. Alright, there we go. So, current level target does not move. Next level is target does not move towards Geralt while he's casting Axie. Increases effectiveness in dialogues, reducing Axie casting time, stamina regeneration. So, I'm going to do one there. And then I'm going to do one... Because I've already done one for attack, which is in this section. So, I've already done that. I can use that in the next, actually, level. But... Again, I'm going for more of a balanced thing, so Igni, I'm sorry, is it, uh, which one was I looking, Igni, Igni, yeah, I want to put one in Igni, uh, damage dealt permanently weakens enemy armor, ooh, uh, effective, effect skills with assigned intensity up to, yeah, let's do that, let's mix it up, we're going to have fun, alright, let's do this, awesome, so, Damage dealt by... Okay, what's the next one? Damage dealt by Igni also permanently weakens enemy armor. Effective scales, 30%. Okay. Cool. And sa stamina regeneration combat is plus one per second. So we're at level four. We're doing pretty good. What I want to do is I want to check the quest, do a quick tag up, uh, as I've been doing in the beginning of my videos. Uh, so now we are going for... We've done the secondary quest, which is this one. We're going to go... And what happened here? Um, do we have an update? In No Man's Land, uh, Geralt was given a contract by an eternal fire priest. His task to burn the bodies of the soldiers who had fallen during the recent battle in order to keep necrophages from eating them. We've done that. Now we got to go return to the priest of the eternal fire. And it'll be it'll be interesting because we found out that the priest had some weird like issues and stuff. So let's do that. Up oh, turn turn Roach. So I'm trying to find the closest road that I can take. Where are we going again? Uh, oh, we are going all the way back there. That's interesting. Over there. Funeral Pirates tracked. Okay. Well, let's finish this off. Um, there are. There might be a fast travel point here that might bump me there. So, undiscovered location. Why not? Let's actually, let's do that. Let's, so we're so close, let's just go get the undiscovered location out of the way. Why not, right? We are already here. We are 153 steps and counting from our marked spot, as you can see in the mini-map. Um, or near the mini-map to the left of it. Uh, here we go, we are so close. Oh. We have enemies. Ah! 
There are two more back there. Oh, you cannot get anything from drowners. That's why I never got one in the one of those last few episodes either. Uh, I guess you can't have any loot from them. Or do you? Well, what is this? Yeah, drowner brain. I got it. I got it. So, didn't the other guy drop a drowner brain though? Maybe not. Ah. Come out in the open, fight me. Yeah, that's what you get. All right. Settlement, not bad, not bad, right? Area liberated, its populace has returned. Awesome. Alright. Wow, he's happy. Someone's happy. Yes. See, they're having fun in my let's play. I liberated. You know, Witcher, <laughs> folk can say what they will. Me, I'll never forget what you did for us. Thank you. Let's give Crow Perch a wide berth. I really appreciate that. There's something in the back there with a symbol. What is that? There's like a treasure or something. Watch. To the... Right there. Hidden treasure. See? What did I say? What did I tell you? You can use boats to travel across bodies of water. Alright. Man, this game... This game is awesome, man. Alchemist power. Oh! Oh, shoot! I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. Ow! Get away from me, get away from me. These guys better not follow me, man. Ah, oh, fire damage, jeez. So can I, like, buy back peace or something? Because if you piss him off, how can you, like, get peace back? Is there something on the map, like, they're saying it's pissed? It's like, I shouldn't be going there now? Or something? <laughs> this kind of, that was kind of awesome, actually. I love running into moments like that in the game. Uh, why can't they allow you to, like, talk to these people, like, and be chill? Okay, so they're good, they're good. They're normal now. It's good, it's good. We learned something. So... Okay, so they're, they're, they're still at peace. They're still at peace with us. That's good, that's good. That's what we wanted. Okay, now let's go get the treasure. So that's one thing we learned. Oh, there's a dead body down there? Holy smokes, dude. What is going on here? Unsent letter. An unfortunate track this quest, please. Yep. Return the letter you found. Alright, what is that? Uh, unsent letter. Uh, treasure hunts. Read the letter you found. While Geralt knew reading other people's correspondence was ill-mannered, he also knew it could prove extremely useful, for one never knows what interesting discoveries one might make. See, man, we are already, like, funeral pyres, we're not going to forget that side mission, but let's see what this one is about. If it's nearby, let's just do it. Uh, we got to read the letter first, so is it in our best diary, or... No, it should be under our inventory. Quest-related items, right? Equipment. Books. Hendrix Notes. Oh, there's one called Hendrix Notes. Payment for a sack of grain, 35 invoice for charcoal, missing and wanted, subject sought in... Oh, okay, void. Yeah, we read that. 
Oh, okay, cool. It actually gave us all this. That's good to know. Um, quests items right there. Melitel, bless you, Nitel. Listen, Nitel. Nitel? I hope I got that right. Listen, that little case you gave me to transport, was there anything of value inside? Because thing is, I had a bit of an unfortunate work accident and well, the blasted case fell in the water and I couldn't spy it for the life of me. I tried to fish it out and some devil must live on the bottom there because every time I tossed my net, I'd catch a snare. Maybe there is. Maybe there is, I don't know, some way I can repay you. A discount on your next shipment, maybe? Sincerely, Woolwich. Alright, so... Quest updated. Alright. Find the cargo that fell off the ferryman's boat by using your Witcher senses. Find the cargo that fell off the Witcherman's boat. Oh wow, dude, there's like... There are drowners down there, dude. You see that? There are drowners down there. <laughs> Uh, can I even fight these drowners in the water? I have no idea. Why is he tripping? Maybe it's this here. I don't know why that dude is tripping, man. Ooh! Hold up, dude. I gotta, like... Hold up. Hold up. So... We have to... See our best... Di not best diary, but character... Not character... Uh, where is it? Uh, glossary tutorial no is it best diary best diary drowners okay what are the necrophage oil igni can I use igni in the I can't use igni while they're in the water man um or can I well let's uh, have some water first get some vitality going for us oh hello it works uh, well, does it work now, though? See, it doesn't work in the water, though. That's the thing. Well, let's go get this, man. Holy smokes. Dude, that dude is not, like, dying, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow! There's another drowner down there. Okay, drink, drink, or have a have an apple, dude. Have an apple. Get your vitality up. Woo! Find the witch on your own, or ask the residents of Midcorp Midcorps about her. Okay, hold on. So what happened? I like I was in such a rush to grab that that I don't even know what was like all the stuff I grabbed to be honest. Um. Which are contracts? So I completed it, right? Uh, and we're unfortunate. Here you go. Find the cargo that fell off the ferryman's. I did. So what did we get? Okay, maybe it has a list. Uh, Nitel didn't seem to have bothered retrieving the sunken case for it was still resting on 
on the bottom when Geralt found it, though this was not the easiest of tasks. Geralt fished it out and enriched by the contents of this lucky find march to his next adventure. Well, I would like to know what I got, but I have to go to my inventory for that, I guess. Excuse me, steel sword. Ooh. Heck yeah. It uh, needs to be repaired a bit. A little heavy. Um, not bad. But, Igni sign intensity, chance to cause burning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, as they say it. Uh, so, steel sword, let's do a replacement. Well, hang on, let me compare it again. Uh, Velling sword, 3036, critical, chance to stagger, rune stone. Yeah, okay, I'll put this. And then what about this rusty Norigar sword? It's a steel sword. Yeah, this ain't gonna cut it, so I should probably sell it at the next convenient time. Um, what else I got? Is runestone place an empty socket on sword to improve its traits. Chance to freeze. Hey, what do you know? So I can place it on this one now, finally. It looks like the one I just picked up. Um, because see, if I put the other one, the this sword, this is a steel sword, right? I'll show you. Yeah, so if I put this steel sword see I cannot see when I select this nothing gets highlighted watch see that sword does not get highlighted it's not allowed but if I choose this now it's allowed see that so place an empty to improve its traits two percent chance to stun uh, what about this three percent sign intensity cool uh, adrenaline point gain uh, I'm gonna do that for now. Adrenaline point gain. I'm just gonna put it in there. Yep, there we go. So I'm gonna use that. Okay, now what else did I get? There's other stuff that I should probably see. Raw meat, uh, food and drink. That's it? Okay. Yeah, I don't think I got anything new here, did I? Uh, orange, nope. So what about here? Wow, there's like a bunch of stuff here, man. Monster Claw, Venom. Uh, I can't tell among the barrage of stuff whether something like big. I doubt it. Everything was in the top two rows. So maybe I just picked up something that was already there that I had. Monster Tooth, maybe. Okay, so we're good. Alright. Uh, so we completed that. It's done. Now, next one was, remember we were going, we got distracted, as it is so easy to do in this game. Um, we got distracted because we were going to the secondary quest. We're gonna turn that in the Funeral Pirates one. We're gonna go return to the priest and finish that one off, get that marked off our list, get that done. It will be awesome. We'll get more upgrade points and stuff like that, or XP. Uh, Roach, let's do this. Unfortunately, I did not. I came here to find a fast travel point, and there is no fast travel point in this region. But it was in total loss because we found something. There's an undiscovered location here. Man, I'm gonna get sidetracked again because there's. I'm so close to these things. I might as well do them, right? Right, right, right. Um. I think there are enemies in this area, if I remember. Because I was hearing like growling and stuff when I initially walked in. The yeah, see, there's like there's like stuff over there, man. Igni. Okay, we're good. Holy smokes, dude. That guy's level 13, dude. Run. Run. Wait, so that guy's like level 13, right? Yeah, I don't want to piss him off yet. Because I am level 4 and he is level 13. If I remember correctly, they have a little icon over their heads, right? Yeah, because he seems high level, is my point. Because if I go down and try and be close to him, yeah, see, he's got the skull icon. That's what I was trying to say. 
I couldn't say it before very well, but he's got the skull icon, which means we should avoid this one for now. Um, okay, so there are some more enemies on this side, wolves and stuff. I'm not too keen. I just want to get to the world map. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to uncheck this, and I'm going to get probably... Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go here to this fast travel point and then I'll cut over to hangman tree and then we'll go over. We'll just shorten the distance that way. That should work out, right? Follow, we'll stick to, to the road for now. Oh, we did not stick to the road, that's okay. And we made it to the village. And the fast travel point is here. And we will cut over to right there. Again, I'm trying to expedite it, so... Um, I'm trying to be smart about it, you know? All right. Now, we're going to go to Beautiful World of Witcher 3. No, you're not going to show me what you got, because I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time, man. Wait a minute. Did I pass it already? Or was that the... Oh, what? that was the location, wasn't it? I passed it, I guess. What? It's over there. Uh, that's strange. Oh, it's following the road. No, no, no. We're, we're following the road. Okay, I'm not going to cut over. Oops. So which way? If you're on the road, he's supposed to follow the road. Wait, if I hold the shift down, he's supposed to follow the marker, right? See, I'm not sure why he's doing... There, now he's on the road. I don't know why it didn't work before. What is he doing? Return to the priest, the priest over here? He's not over here. Hold up, dude. See, I was holding the shift key down, but I think that was for the main story marker, maybe. I'm guessing. I think it's for the story. My bad. My bad. Alright, let's just cut over. We're closed, so it isn't too bad. There we go. Why do I have a feeling this guy's gonna go rogue on me? Why do I get that feeling that he's gonna go rogue? Let's see if we can use some Axie stuff on him. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Uh, took care of the graves. Why hadn't anyone burned the corpses? Yeah, let's ask him. Let's ask him if he lies or not. Why do you priests take an interest in the fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? I uh, took care of the graves, yeah. So took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And 
pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. Ooh, he's bribing me. No, fella. I'm not gonna take bribe. You're killing people. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! Alright, so what did it say? I just want to read the quest real quick. Uh, secondary, was it? Or... Where'd it go? Oh, completed. It went under completed, didn't it? Um, funeral pyre. So... Okay, the Witcher followed the priest's directions and went to burn the bodies. Doing so revealed the clergyman true motivation. Lighting the fire he had requested would also burn evidence of the priest's involvement in the Fistech trade. Okay. So this guy was not cool, man. Crown's mace. All right. So did you see how that this dude went on fire? That was because of in our inventory on my, uh, I believe, yeah. See the igni sign intensity. I think this is why it is because of the steel sword. The igni sign intensity is plus three. And plus, oh, I'm sorry, not Igni, um, plus 9% chance to cause burning is what I wanted to point out. Because I had read that earlier. I was like, why did he go on fire when I was in the middle of that, you know, just battle right now? And it's because plus 9% chance to cause burning. So, hoo -hoo. yes, it was pretty awesome. So, we finished that one as well. Um, thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one.